Welcome back to Tech Radar. I'm Matt Phillips, joined today by our senior computing editor, Matt Hansen. How you doing, Matt? Hey, Matt. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Very well indeed. And today we are going to chat through the top five laptops that we would recommend on Tech Radar right now. But before we get into that, a little bit of a rigmarole for you. If you're watching this video on the Tech Radar YouTube channel, congratulations, you are getting the best possible experience for this video. If you head to the links in the description, the top link is to Matt's full buying guide. I think there are 15 laptops on the full buying guide. Today, we're talking about just the top five. But if we don't mention a laptop that suits your needs, then you should head there, look at that link and see if there are some laptops in there that suit you better. Uh, also down in the description, you will find buying links to buy all of these laptops. We at Tech Radar are supported by you, our audience, and so they are affiliate commission links. So we would appreciate if you go check out those best deals. Those buying links also, though, update automatically depending on where you are in the world and where the best deal currently is on the internet. It's very very clever indeed. So go there, check out the best deals you can currently find on these laptops. And with all of that out of the way, Matt, let's jump in at number five, the LG Gram 17. Tell us why this deserves to be in the uh, the number five spot here. Yeah, we've had a few LG Gram laptops come in and what we really like about them is that they are incredibly light. And so with the LG Gram 17, which we've got there, it's a 17 inch laptop and they, they're usually a bigger laptop because of the 17 inch screen a bit bulky a bit heavier but lg have done a really really good job of making the laptops as thin and as light as possible and on some of the smaller versions it, it, it's less than a gram hence the name so this is a fantastic laptop really it's really easy to carry around with you it's got some good specifications good build design um, and you know lg is not necessarily a company that you would associate with laptops you know you think of them more working with uh, tvs but they produce some really really good stuff so um yeah it's, it's a worthy um, entry and i've actually got the brand new lg gram 16 inch this is um which has just been released yeah um and so i will be reviewing it and it'll hopefully i'm pretty confident end up on this best laptops list as well fantastic stuff fantastic stuff so when did when did that new version come out is that particularly recent yeah it, matter of weeks really. matter of weeks yeah. brilliant stuff yeah. Yeah. so well worth keeping an eye on this one then obviously obviously the selling point like you say of this one is the large laptop size but keeping that weight down right are we yeah. really missing out on any sort of specs here that is keeping that weight down how's the battery life for example because that's the first thing i think of right batteries tend to be heavy and so is the battery life going to hold up on this kind of thing yeah, battery life is really good actually on the the LG Gram 17, and um, LG promises even better battery life on the new ones. You're right that batteries can weigh things down, so it might be a smaller physical battery. But a lot of the newer uh, components and um, the the latest model has uh, 11th gen um, Intel um, CPU, for example, and um, they're a lot more power efficient. So actually, the battery can last a lot longer, even if it's smaller. So it's um, yeah. So you don't really miss out on that um obviously i think if you wanted to game on it you wouldn't really get a good gaming experience sure. there's no dedicated graphics card but for like day-to-day -day use for studying for working on this is a really good choice especially for people who travel a lot and don't want to have a heavy laptop in their bag sure absolutely and it's worth pointing out to you guys at home that this is obviously our best laptops list this is kind of our best overall laptops list gaming laptops kind of do feature in their own in their own list well they absolutely do feature in their own list and if you're interested in us making a video about that maybe leave a comment down below and we can set that up for you guys. But moving in on then to number four and a name that everybody's going to know, the, the workhorse of laptops, if you like, the Dell XPS 13. Everybody talks about this laptop uh, and it's still obviously in the top five after all this time. So Matt, what, what puts the Dell XPS 13 in that really solid bracket there? Yeah, the Dell XPS 13 have always been on this list for, for years now. Uh, Dell really do knock out the park with these small, versatile laptops. Really beautiful build quality, thin and light, powerful stuff and powerful components. The latest model has an 11th generation Intel Core i7. You know, you can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM in it, up to two terabytes SSD storage. So this is like a really, you know, you, you'll... If you open up and you use it, you will fall in love with it. It is such a fast, such a powerful uh, laptop, but small. It's 13 inches. It's incredibly portable, very thin, light again, and just really good build quality. 
gorgeous screens, huge amount of life about the XPS 30. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Dell, one of those brands that you know, you trust, they've been around forever in the space. Currently, the one we're talking about, £1,339 in the UK. Obviously, by the time you're watching that, that might have changed. Check those links in the description for the most up-to-date but when you're looking at a laptop in that sort of plus 1,000 pound range, I think of more of the advanced kind of things that people want to do on laptops, video editing, photo editing. Is this going to be a laptop that can handle all of that? Yeah, photo editing, certainly. When it comes to video editing, yeah, I mean, as long as it's not too heavy duty, it's sure. got um, Intel Iris Xe graphics. So it's integrated graphics, but Intel have done a lot of good work actually on boosting the graphics capabilities of their processors. Um, so it's really... Yeah, I think, yes, it is definitely an expensive uh, laptop, but it's very capable. It, it will last you years. Um, Windows 10 works brilliantly on it. It's just overall a really nice package. But yeah, it is it is expensive, but we've got some other good choices um, if, if you find that too expensive. Yeah, absolutely. So coming in at number three, the HP Spectre 360, a couple hundred pounds less already. So what are the differences between these two and, and why would you maybe go for one over the other? Um, yeah, it's a good choice, really. I, I, it's it's a it's a tough one, really, because yeah, they they they're both very very nice laptops, and they've both got a lot going for them. Again, the HP Spectre X360 has a really lovely design, and HP is another one of those laptop makers which you can really rely on. You know, they've been in the industry for years and years and years. And this model um, it just came out this year in 2021, so it's, it, again, it packs some of the very latest hardware. It comes with a 11th generation Intel processor once again. It's got a lovely screen. You can get up to 4K, so really beautiful, bright vibrance of colors on the screen as it's an x360 it is a two-in-one device right so we can you can flip the screen back which you can on some models of the xps 13 as well you can flip it back and use it like a um, tablet like device so it gives you a bit of extra uh, versatility in that respect sure again it's just the build quality the design it's a very stylish laptop it's powerful day-to-day -day stuff even like video editing it can be handled very well and yeah it's a, it's a bit more affordable than the xps 13 but it's a really nice laptop exactly you're absolutely right and then coming straight back to the xps range in at number two is the dell xps 15 obviously i'm assuming here a lot of similarities to the 13 that we've just talked about for a while but maybe chat a little bit on on why you know dell have really cemented themselves kind of in two spots here in the in the list yeah, yeah, I think the XPS line is their their, their flagship sure. brand, really, and, and so we've always just been really impressed with them. That they again, that they are expensive, but they are really just well put together, dependable devices with really nice um, designs. Uh, the XPS 15, as you might imagine, uh, with the name, it's a 15 inch screen rather than the 13 inch screen of the XPS 13. So it it is bigger, but it's not heavy and bulky but that extra size means that Dell can sort of add a few extra things so this does come with a dedicated graphics card as an option so all of Dell's um, laptops like their desktop PCs can be configured quite a lot so you can get the right configuration for your budget and for your needs so you can configure it with a dedicated graphics card um, I believe it's a GTX 1650 Ti on this one so it's not like a kill a gaming GPU and you probably wouldn't be able to really play any games on it you'd be much better off getting a gaming laptop for that however you can play some indie games but it also gives you that extra horsepower if you wanted to do some more um, serious video editing content creations and maybe 3d animations and mm -hmm. digital arts and stuff like that and you've got this lovely big screen as well and it goes up to 64 gigabytes of ram so you know you can turn it into a very very powerful uh, sort of workstation laptop absolutely absolutely and then coming on to our number one pick then obviously all the laptops we've been talking about so far have been windows laptops but in our number one spot at the moment is the apple macbook air m1 chip 2020 edition so matt is it is it the m1 chip here the introduction of the m1 chip that's really stolen the show for you oh yeah totally this is the first time that a macbook 
I believe has ever topped our our list. Yeah. And I am predominantly a, a Windows 10 user, but the MacBook Air M1 2020 is just an absolutely stunning laptop, I think. First of all, the price at £999, uh, I think it's $999. That again, that's that's expensive, but it's that's you know quite a bit cheaper than sort of the Dell XPS 13 mm -hmm. and the, the HP Spectre X360. You know, and you don't often think that Apple would are the ones who would you know maybe do a, a more affordable device, but they absolutely have with the MacBook Air. It's got that thin and light design, which you know Apple kind of like really pushed the envelope with with the introduction of the Air. And if you don't know, basically for for a long time now, Apple's MacBooks ran on Intel processors and hardware uh, and then last year Apple went and made its own chip called the M1 which combines processor and graphics and part kind of part of company with Intel and that gave it a greater control over the hardware within the MacBook Air and it's done some really good things with that so it's now the MacBook Air doesn't have any fans in it so it's completely silent when you use it it's also impressively powerful you, you would not think oh it's 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 a lesser device than the intel versions that came before it runs things brilliantly we did some 4k video editing on it it did it really well and it's actually the same hard a lot of the same hardware that's in the more expensive macbook pro 13 inch m1 but a lot cheaper and it's uh the the screen is is great but even though it's changed from intel hardware you can still run the vast majority of mac apps fine because of its rosetta 2 feature which um, apple's really worked hard on so if you're moving from an older mac you won't notice any of your apps not working anymore but if you're new to macs it's just a great introduction really i think it's really well priced excellent performance brilliant battery life and it, it just outperforms a lot of the laptops around that price and even a bit more expensive including the macbook pro in some respects um uh, apple kind of made their job of selling the macbook pro 13 inch a bit harder because the macbook air is it's just so good and, and a lot cheaper absolutely absolutely and, and sort of anecdotally you know we, we both used a lot of laptops in our time the thing that always gets me with a, when i'm using a macbook is the battery just stays there like if you shut that macbook down two three four days whatever it is you open that thing back up it's still got battery yeah. none of my window machines that i've ever used have, have sort of managed to do that um so from that you sort of use a friendliness point as well you know oh yeah yeah you can leave great. it for a couple of days open it up and you can still use it um, and like you say a windows 10 laptop will often have leached battery somehow i don't know somehow yeah exactly it keeps exactly. taking over um but one thing to point out is that 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 their top five are all kind of like either Windows 10 laptops or a MacBook. They're all quite expensive. We do have in in the whole article, we look at budget laptops, we look at gaming laptops, we look at Chromebooks because they're all excellent devices as well. So if you don't have the budget for these kind, and these are expensive laptops, we also have some brilliant choices, um, which are a lot more affordable. Yeah, absolutely. Do go check out that full article like we keep saying. But also, we will be doing videos in the coming months and weeks on all of those. I, I guess we'll do budget laptops. Sure, why not? We'll do gaming laptops. We'll do Chromebooks. We'll get them all out for you. Uh, so if you enjoy this kind of content and you found it valuable at all, please do consider subscribing to TechRadar on YouTube. Like the video as well while you're there. Very quickly before we leave then, Matt, are there any laptops on the horizon that you think could crack this top five? Is there anything you're keeping an eye on or expecting down the line? um i think first of all like i said the uh lg gram mm -hmm. uh, 16 um which i'm going to be trying out looking forward to seeing that I, th I do think that's got a good shot there's rumors about um apple releasing some more m1 powered uh, laptops this year including yep. a renewed 16 inch macbook pro so that should be pretty pretty exciting got some nice um asus laptops i've got at the moment gaming laptops so yeah i've just got to finish writing the reviews and um see if they make it on there exciting stuff and like we say those articles are getting updated a lot more than these videos are so make sure you check that link in the description to see matt's latest thoughts on the best laptops you can buy right now thanks for joining me matt really do appreciate it like we keep saying yeah, cool. like subscribe do all those fun things and head over to techradar.com for the latest tech news and reviews we will see you on the next video bye bye